Well, if you're listening to the radio today, you may have heard some special programming. A Josh Peterson shows us how the Radiothon to End Child Abuse raises more than just donations. Thank you for calling the Radiothon auction line. This is Mary. The phones have been ringing in pledges and donations for the annual Radiothon to End Child Abuse. For 29 years, the big three stations of Paul Bunyan Broadcasting have been hosting this 24-hour pledge drive in an effort to not only raise funds to end child abuse, but to raise awareness about the many different forms of abuse. This is something people don't like to talk about, so it's really hard to determine. But you know the need is there, and if you care about children, you, you know, you just need to keep contributing. By simply picking up your phone and making a pledge, you're not only helping raise awareness, but helping educate both parents and children. Events such as the Radiothon, you know, they're, they're very much a needed part of, of educating our parents, educating the, the public about child abuse. An aspect that makes the Radiothon so special is that it brings many organizations together and has become a staple of the holiday season for the community. So many organizations every year come through with a big donation for the Radiothon, do something for the Radiothon and so it has become part of the holiday season in the North Country. One of the groups helping out are from the Early Childhood Education Department at Northwest Technical College, where they see the value in educating everyone on the various effects of child abuse. There are children that are being abused and they may they may not know that they're being abused and this could bring some awareness to themselves. While there is no monetary goal put in place, all the money raised will be designated for Beltrami, Cass, Clearwater and Hubbard counties. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. And if you'd like to contribute, you can call the number on the screen or go to the web address on the screen as well. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.